More than a million Somalis live in exile as refugees in neighboring countries. War and famine have forced them from their homes. But Kenya, which hosts half a million refugees, wants them to leave and leave quickly. This is your baby. Since the attack on the Westgate Mall in Nairobi by the Somali militant group Al Shabaab in September, the Kenyan government sees the refugee community as a risk to Kenyan security. John King from the UN's Office for Humanitarian Affairs, or OCHA, has just returned from Somalia. He suggested much still needs to happen before the refugees could return safely. The situation in Somalia for Somalis on the humanitarian side is very grave. Um, it's also very fragile um, and we have to work uh, much harder to uh, bring people into a place where they will be food secure, uh, firstly, and also um, hoping that the conditions, the security conditions, will uh, improve uh, to allow people to return to their homes and rebuild their lives. The risks are very real. Just last week, a UN convoy was attacked by militants, a bomb killing seven Somalis. King admitted that the constant threat of violence restricts the UN humanitarian work in the country. We are constrained. Uh, the unpredictability of the security situation, on one hand, you don't know when you're going to be attacked, but then on the other hand, um, it's also uh, sadly the fact that they are vicious attacks. They are, they are large-scale uh, large attacks. Um, so we, we have to you know, mitigate those, uh, those risks in, in the best way that, uh, that, that is possible, um, but also continue to do the work that, uh, that needs to be done. King said this would only be possible through better funding. And that's the problem. Funding for the country has dropped dramatically in recent years. In 2013, just 50% of the UN Appeal Fund was met. So far this year, the amount raised is less than 4%. Nick Harper, CCTV, at the United Nations in New York.